Finding the perfect niche. In internet marketing blogging parlance, a niche is essentially a subject matter. This is the topic that you will be writing about, and in turn, the industry that you'll be promoting. In the vast majority of cases, affiliate marketing will involve creating content in some form or other. This means you're going to need to write about this topic and find a large audience of people who are interested in reading about it. But at the same time, this will also define the type of product you're selling. If you write about fitness, then you'll need to sell fitness-related products. If you write about music, then you'll need to sell something to do with music, etc. Depending on your niche, you may find that products and services tend to gravitate more toward the high end or the low end. Choosing the right niche is very important when trying to become a successful affiliate. The Goldilocks Niche Some niches are too big. Some are too small. Others are just right. That third category, of course, is the type of niche that you want to find and the kind that will help you get the very best results. An example of a niche that is too big would be something like bodybuilding. Meanwhile, a niche like bird sewing patterns is just too small. So that Goldilocks niche is somewhere in between. For example, instead of writing about bodybuilding, you could write about bodybuilding for students. This is still a big niche, but it's also a little more specific than bodybuilding generally, and you'll face a lot less competition. More considerations when choosing your niche. When choosing your niche, another thing to consider is the value proposition and the emotional hook. That is to say that the very best niches for an affiliate marketer are the ones that promise something that the reader really wants. Bodybuilding is a great niche in this regard because it promises to help people get into shape. This is something that many of us will have a strong emotional reaction to. We all want to be stronger, fitter, and more defined, and we believe that we'll be more attractive, more confident, and happier as a result. Buying an ebook on fitness seems like a great first step to becoming hot and sexy, and thus we're very happy to spend $30, $50, or $100. Now compare this to the cat niche. The thing is, no matter how much someone loves cats, a cat jumper isn't going to change their life. That means you can't charge much more than $5 or $10 for it. This means you need a much higher turnover in order to make the same amount of profit. The single most important factor. Your involvement with said niche. If you don't know anything about fitness, then you should not create a blog about fitness. If you have no particular interest in knitting, then stay away from that niche. The only caveat is this rule. If you are working with a writer or advisor who does love the subject, 